A STUDENT SHOT OUTSIDE A DORCHESTER SCHOOL. POLICE JUST CONFIRMED THAT THEY'VE IDENTIFIED A SUSPECT THAT SCHOOL HAD BEEN ON LOCKDOWN. THAT'S BEEN LIFTED. THE SHOOTING IS OUTSIDE JEREMIAH BURKE HIGH SCHOOL ON WASHINGTON STREET. WE WANT TO GET RIGHT TO WBZ'S JORDAN JAGELINZER WHO'S BEEN ON THE SCENE. POLICE JUST FINISHED GIVING AN UPDATE. JORDAN? That's right, Paula. You might remember we were just here outside Jeremiah Burke High School just a couple of weeks ago in Dorchester for a stabbing incident. Now they're dealing with this shooting that happened. Calls came in shortly after 930. It does look like they're now starting to reopen this road. Washington Street has been completely blocked off. It does look like there is a police cruiser still blocking off that end of the street. But the street where we are on, that car did just move and they're starting to take down some of this yellow caution tape. But when we arrived, again, you couldn't access this area. We got here shortly after it happened. Investigating police were unfolding what happened here and we know the victim is a student who is now in stable condition but a resource officer did hear some of those gunshots rushed outside to help the student. They were able to help them until ambulance scenes got here. The school was placed on a safe lockdown shortly after the shooting. Police were able to track down the suspect based on descriptions that they had and we are told that the suspect was also a student. Shortly after the incident, a description of the suspect was broadcasted. Additional officers responding to the scene located an individual matching that description. That individual was positively ID'd as the suspect. A subsequent, subsequent search of the area led to the recovery of a firearm. And again, we have violence with youth, too many students. Too many young people, too many guns in the street. And, you know, right now I just I want to say thank you to all of the school staff and the city staff that are here to support the students that are still in the building. Um, you know, our, our process and our protocol of going into safe mode enables us to make sure that the building and the students are safe, and that's always the priority. But now there's a lot of work to be done with the students who have just experienced what they've experienced. And this happens again and again and too much. The district and Mayor Wu were also here today, but people in the community are saying something needs to change to make these schools safer. We are told that students are now able to walk throughout the school safely as police continue to investigate what unfolded here this morning. Live in Dorchester, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.